Hi, I would like to share with you a bit of scripture. It's from the book of Hebrews. It's um, chapter 5. I'm going to start with um, verse 1. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins, who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself to offer her for his sins. And no man takes this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he that said unto him, You are my son, today have I begotten you. As he says also in another place, you are a priest forever after your order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard and that he feared, though he were a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, called of God a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Now, um, now the verse I want to point out in that passage, which I read right there, is... Um, where, where, um, G, where it says that, um, it says that Jesus in the days of his flesh, when he offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him, unto God, who was able to save him from death, and was heard, and that he feared. I mean, that's talk. That's talking about um, Jesus being in the Garden of Gethsemane, um, and that that um, when he was. Um, Praying um, an agonizing prayer um, three times to God, Fa Father, that um, that 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 the um, cup of suffering would pass from him, and I mean he, I mean he he said that his sor soul was so sorrowful that that he felt so close to death. I mean, and um, in in the Gospel of Luke, um, G Jesus was. Uh, is such anguish when he was praying that he was literally sweating blood, blood from his forehead. I mean, and um, th th things some some people um, mistake from th that verse in he Hebrews, um, say, saying that God, God, I mean, that, saying that God heard heard, heard G Jesus and that he feared him and. and and that God was able to save him from death. Um, they, 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 they thought that God sa saved Jesus from death, and he, he gave him a yes answer. But nope, that what that that isn't the case. If he's is referring to the Garden of Gethsemane, God's answer um, to that was a no. I mean, I mean. I mean, God. I mean, God. God answered um, Jesus' prayer um, three, three times in the garden, and it basically led Jesus to accept that his mission was to um, what what was to take the cup of suffering and die die for for the sins of the people, and um, and and. It, the thing I want to get is that, is that um, when we pray pray to God, um, we should we should we should know that um, even though um, Second Corinthians says that um, the promises of God are always yes and amen, His answers are not always yes and amen. His answers can sometimes be no or wait. I mean, because if we I mean, because God knows be better than we do, and He 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 knows how 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 to handle our situations be better than um, most people, and the, and that got me think, thinking about um, what Paul Paul um, said in Second Corinthians. Uh, he said that he ha had had a uh, thorn in the flesh, messenger Satan that buffeted him. And he prayed three times for um, for God to remove that th thorn in the flesh, but 
God's answer to that was no. I mean, instead he said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And, I mean, and that, that got Paul to realize that, um, that 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 thorn in the flesh was there there for a reason to ba basically keep him from being exalted above measure because because of the uh, abundance of revelations he was given. Was per, and if, if you um, interpret um, his that um, vision vision of um, man who was caught up to the third heaven is um, Paul Paul being caught up to the third third heaven and and hearing things that. Um, not it's not lawful for a man to utter. I mean, uh, there 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 are Christians who they ba basically want want to um, <laughs> try try to ch change God's mind about say say that if you keep asking God God enough and he he's he's going going to eventually g give it to you. I mean that I mean that 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 bears out about ourselves and what on. Uh, their interpretation of of um, what what Jesus said in in the um, Sermon on the Mount: Ask and it shall be given unto you; seek and you shall find; knock and the door shall be opened. And th they interpret it as that you ke you keep asking and you're, and you're going to receive; you keep seeking and you're going to find; you keep knocking and the door is going to open. And of course, and they just think that if if God says no at first, then keep asking because he. I mean, he, he might he might say yes, <laughs> but G, Jesus a, Jesus a, asked three times to to take the cup, of, for God the Father to take the cup of suffering away from him, and he was told no. And Paul a, asked three times for God God to take away the thorn of flesh from him. And he was told no. So, when, when we get no as a repeated answer, um, um, when, we, when he asks enough times, like three times in a row, that that's pretty much a sign that um, God, God's answer is final and absolute. And we, we should basically accept it uh, as the final answer and basically be like Jesus and saying not my will but yours be done oh God is uh because um God knows God's, God knows our hearts God better than we do and God God, God knows what's what's best for us and I mean he he, he may bless us with what with some things and he may not bless us with certain other things I mean because if if God, God had al always answered our prayers um, we, we would um, <laughs> we, we would think think that um, we we always or I mean are always going to get er everything we ask ask for and and we um uh, won't be able to ha handle a no no answer when God um, fi finally says no, because um, we're just it's just too too expecting of um, God to say yes, and, it, and um, that got me thinking of um, what about um, Jacob wrestling with the uh, the an angel of the Lord in uh, in Genesis and and. He, he wouldn't let go of the um, angel until um, the angel blessed him. So the angel blessed him, but he he basically left Jacob with a permanent limp afterward. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to uh, share with you in this video. So have a good day, and may God bless you.